Suspect still at large. Approach with extreme caution. Surprise! Surprise! Ah! Surprise! What is wrong with you two? Check it out. What is that? That is a gift for you. Meet Morrissey, the rescue dog, here to rescue you from your own handsomeness. Flassie called us last night. He's, uh, seeing things. Ghosts. Not necessarily ghosts. But probably ghosts. But there's a lot of strange stuff going on around here. And Lassie's terrified that he's going crazy. Anyone finds out, it could cost him his job, his dignity, maybe even his family. Carlton doesn't even remember why he went to that abandoned building. His only recollection of his shooter is a silhouette. He's on nine different medications, and as you both know, he suffered a massive stroke during surgery. So, of course, he's seeing things. Uh, Sean, what's in that dog's mouth? Gus, please. Uh, it is nothing more than a human hand. Oh, my God, it's... Oh, also, there was a uh, usable print on one of the dead guy's fingers. I got a name for the victim. Some hotshot manufacturing CEO named Devin Tileback. Tileback. You see that, right? I mean, that guy's really bleeding. Come on, Dylan. Tell me I'm not crazy. Why would a man soaked in blood sneak into some stables at a recovery house? I know what I saw. Did anybody else see this? Yes. A dog? Oh, my God, Morrissey ate Dolores. Dolores is fine. Look, Lassie, we're trying here, man. We are. But that hand, remember the hand that Morrissey found? Belongs to some techie CEO that took a dive into the river. It has nothing to do with you or the Herschel house. Please, just check out the stables, and then you can tell me I'm crazy. <sighs> he said please. He did. Oh, my gosh. Blue raspberry. Now you feel around trim. This is like a Concord grape. Excuse me. Good morning. Are you eating the patient's ice chips? I am not. He is. That's not true. We're sorry. We're just, we're both fans of delicious flavor. May I ask, gentlemen, what is this about? Say nothing. Calls him me as a zombie. What are you doing? He's not a zombie, sir. It is a normal man, possibly infected with rage, drenched in his own blood. And oh, did you know there are bodies in your fields? Wow, I'm doing it. You. You're good. <laughs> you are very good at extracting confessions. Impressive. We've ruled out the hell hag. Maybe we take a harder look at Tilebeck. Now what are we missing? Our guy worked from morning till night, right? So what's he doing driving all the way into the hills to the Viking's Den ice bar? An ice cream bar? No, 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 ice bar. Uh, the ones where they give you a parka and they have sub-zero temperatures. They're either for tourists or Eskimos. He could be an Eskimo. What? Uva. This is my place. Oh, yes. <laughs> You're just the man we'd like to speak with. Question, do you have any more of those smoky topaz brown earmuffs? Now those are for our VIPs, and we're all out. Tell me, who is the bearded Daryl Hanna over there? Well, that's Pei. He's my son. Oh. He's also clearly within earshot. He's already displeased with me and my career choices. Perhaps we all stop kirking at him. Fair enough. Helvete! That was not supposed to happen. Make a hard right! 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 I tried to tell you, man. What do we do now? I guess we just lay here for a while. Who the hell are you guys? Who the hell are we? Who the hell are you? You're Devin Tileback. Dude, our dog found your head. You're supposed to be dead. You need to stop. Whatever it is you think you're doing, you have no idea who you're dealing with. More people are going to die. Just let me stay dead. You're ruining everything. When you say everything... <clears throat> Where did that shot come from? Play dead. Lassie just texted, all caps. 
He saw Wilkerson running down the hallway. Wilkerson? The comatose dude in a wheelchair? I think Lassie's hit a new low. We're gonna have to deal with this. Are you getting up in there? Oh, Get up in there. Finish it. I'm going hard, Sean. Excuse me. Dr. Herschel, we have reason to believe that your Wilkerson is faking. Yes. Faking? Mm -hmm. Faking? Yes. At first, I thought you two had this harmless, idiotic, red and stimpy thing stimpy. going. <laughs> now, you're proving to be dangerous. What the? Someone did not want us to find this. Bandages? Stitches? Peroxide. Dude, this is all for an emergency patch job. Somebody was coming here for help on the down low from a doctor. Okay, great. So which doctor was on duty the night last he saw the bloody guy? We were here that day. Dr. Herschel. Gus, are you seeing what I'm seeing? Oh, Wilkerson. We got jackals. Now that would be huge if I wasn't dreaming. Let me get this straight. You've just been pretending this whole time. No, not the whole time. I mean, I still have some numbness on my right side, but I can get around, obviously. And you can't tickle for crap. Why are you doing this? Is this an insurance thing? And is that a cactus growing out of your head? No, and no. And stop touching my scar, man. I gotta wake up. Wake up, Gus. Wake Gus. up. Come on, Gus. Gus, Gus, Gus. Gus. What? We're not sleeping, dude. I think baby Mary was a hallucination. I'm pretty sure Wilkerson's the real deal, but we're tripping on something. No, not something. Psychotropes. You suddenly feel like you want to confess something? Yeah. Oh, gosh, it's the ice chips. What? Oh, that's just diabolical. They know everything. We had an IPO coming up, and um, we were uh, cooking the books at the company. No. I, it was Tile Back's idea. Shit. I just, I went along with it. The line was killing me. I was having panic attacks. And the next thing you know, I'm recovering here from a stroke. And apparently, I spilled everything to Herschel doing therapy. Because a few days later, a guy shows up at our office saying he knows everything. And he offers to keep his mouth shut for a price, a steep price. Tobak played along for a little while, but once the IPO was announced, they wanted to bleed us dry. Tobak tried to secretly meet up with Chief Lassiter, and they shot the chief. They tracked Tom back down, and he cut off his hand as a warning. He tried to disappear, but they found him, and then they killed him. And I saw that we missed some of the hidden bandages. Wait a minute. Is this a smoky Topaz brown earmuff, or am I imagining it? Uh, well, I don't know anybody who would wear a bloody earmuff. Now, Ove is a gunrunner, a drug dealer, an extortionist, ran a major crime syndicate in Norway, at least before he almost died. He used to run a different business. Please stop touching my scar. Oh, my gushin, Gus. Ova had a stroke. He was a patient in the Herschel house. He's the outside man. And lasted a shooter. Which means Dr. Herschel's on the inside digging out the dirty secrets of his rich-ass patients. Feeding into Ova on the outside to shake down the victims. Nobody ever put those two together and until now. And we get out the final piece. Nasty dance. Wood on wood. Nasty dance. Huh. I guess it's not over. Listen to me, man. I see it. That's Paul. He's my son. He's already displeased with me and my career choices. Your dad, sweet old Ova. Right? He suddenly has a stroke and then boom. He wants to go down the straight and narrow, huh? He wants to turn over a new leaf and, and he gives up the family business. You haven't a high to leave in for What? What are you saying? I've waited my whole life for my moment. Oh, right. Fathers. They disappoint us, man. That's that's what they do. Trust me, I know. Sometimes, in very rare cases, the hospitals that care for them use their secrets to blackmail their families, right? Well, they tried, but I changed the deal. Made myself a partner. To a bear and organiser cream. No, you're going into Norwegian yeah. again, man. We don't have the... Your friend, Lassiter, he got too close. Didn't think he'd make it after I shot him. Told me what? The pregnancy test is mine. <sighs> Praise be. Me. <sighs> oh, God! <sighs> hey, I don't recognize any of these pills. Hmm? Oh, that's because those ones are different. 
Those are designed to make you go to sleep forever. And if you don't take them, then I will just throw a shot of this into your drip, and Bob will still be your uncle, I'm afraid. This was all my idea. All my baby. And that Boy Scout Herschel couldn't be more oblivious. And all you had to do was lie there and eat those ice chips, but no, you and the get along gang just could not leave well enough alone. Now, we just have one tiny little detail to iron out. What's that? I'm still married. What? Don't worry about it. We'll figure it out. What? Oh! 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 O